In this video, I'm going to show you five things you must do when you're starting a Squarespace website. If you want my full list of everything that I check before I launch a site, I'll drop a link below to my pre-launch checklist. If we haven't met, I'm Christy Price. I've got my own YouTube channel at Christy Price. And a huge thanks to Becca for letting me take over her channel with this video. I hope you'll stick around to the end. I've got a do not miss tip for number five. All right, I'm here in my scribe template for authors. This is available at my Squarespace template store, but it doesn't matter what template you start with in Squarespace. The first thing that you want to do, the most important thing is to set your site title. So if we go up here, it's going to say author name copy. If you're starting with a Squarespace template, it's going to say site title. You're going to click through and make this your name or your business name whichever is the thing that people will search for. So you're gonna set that. I'm just gonna change this to be my name here. And you can also add a logo if you want, but even if you add a logo, the text here in site title is really important. So make sure that you set that. This is one of the premier places for SEO on your website. It lets Google and bots know what the most important site terms are because they're in your site title. Okay, speaking of SEO, Squarespace has just rolled out this new SEO AIO tab here. And there's a lot of stuff on this page, but what I want you to do is come down and go to tools to manage your optimization and click on search appearance. This SEO site description, it's buried in here but this is the most important SEO information on your site that you are encouraging Google to show. You're letting the bots know that this is what you think is the most important information about your site as a whole. Now you'll notice here, it's pulling in that site title that I created. You could put a dash here and you could say something like YA author. Whatever terms you're using for your keywords, Put it here, but make it make sense. Don't make a list of keywords. In the site description, you're going to write a sentence or two. You're gonna get guidelines here on the length. So young adult fiction by award-winning author Christy Price. So I'm at 284 characters here, which is in the sweet spot. Now, let me go ahead and hit save. Now you can certainly come up here and use this improve with AI option to help you complete your metadata, but I do want you to take some time and really think about this search appearance on your own without the help of AI. Really think about the keywords and what sets you apart. All right, number three, this is a more strategic topic than a tactical one, but what I want you to do is to have a goal in mind for your website. Now this site has two main goals. I want them to order the book. And if we go to books, you can see buy on Amazon. That's what I want them to do. I want them to buy my books or I want them to join my email list. So those are my two main goals. Everything else is supporting those goals. I have information about my books, me, testimonials, other books, you can learn more go to those book pages, buy those books, that on the bottom of every page, stay in the loop, sign up with your email address to receive news and updates. So those are my two main goals. I want to create a path for people to be able to follow those goals. So for example, if you wanted someone to be able to book a discovery call with you and that was the key thing you wanted them to do on your website, you wanna add a button up top here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's add an element, a button, and here we'll say book a call. There we go. And you'd wanna factor that in to your sections below. Definitely wanna lead people down a path so that this is a clear choice for them to make. So create your site with a goal in mind and create a path with buttons or links or newsletter blocks to get people to take the action that you want them to take. Number four, this template, like so many good templates, has a page that is all about 
the business, or the person. I'm not going to name names, but recently another designer reached out to me on Instagram, DM'd me. I went to their Instagram link in bio, clicked on their website, and it told me what they did. Their Squarespace web designer, I didn't know their name. I didn't know where they were. I got the feeling that they were in the United States, but I wasn't sure. So be sure on your website. You don't have to have a whole page if you don't want to. Put something in the footer or on the homepage. Let people know who you are or what's behind the company, where you're located in the world. This can be so important. People like to work with people in the same time zones. So if you are in Australia, it might be really tough to work with clients in the U.S. So go ahead, give people some information about where you are in the world and about the face behind the company. All right, tip number five. Always, always double check your website on mobile view because once you've played around in a section, things may not end up where you would expect them to be on mobile. So for example, we've got John here in the striped shirt, Amy with a blue background, Allie with her hair in a bun, Bob, Tom, Betty. They all have names with their photos, but let's click over to mobile view. Oh my goodness. They're just scattered around. We don't know who is who. So what we'll need to do is edit the mobile view separately and bring these folks down to the right spot and then reorder the layers so that we see the people in the right order. So this is a really important tip. I don't know how many times I have seen websites where the desktop version looks amazing and then nobody checked the mobile view and it's a hot mess. So just know before you launch or after, if you haven't done it yet, it's okay. Go back, check the mobile view, make sure it's not a hot mess, make sure it looks good. You can edit it separately and it's going to make your mobile view look professional instead of scary. I would love to know, drop a note in the comments if one of these is something you've always done or if one of these was new information or something you'd forgotten about something that you're gonna start implementing on your websites going forward. Now, be sure and grab my free pre-launch checklist. Again, that's got 50 things with videos for almost every single one. I'll drop a link below in the comments. Grab that free checklist. Make sure that you go through it before you launch your next website. Make sure all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.